convicted of killing the state prison director nearly 30 years ago will walk out of a Kansas prison. A recent ruling by an appeals court judge in federal court found Frank Gable did not get a fair trial. The state had 90 days to either make a decision to retry him or set him free. Here's a look back at the case. On the morning of January 18th, 1989, the body of state prisons director Michael Franke was found on the steps of a state office building in Salem. He had been murdered. His car was found in the parking lot with the door open. The early theory in the case was Franke left his office on the night of January 17th, interrupted a man burglarizing his car, attempted to arrest him, and was stabbed. He stumbled back to the steps of his office, where he died. It took several hours for his body to be found. There was no physical evidence that could be used to identify the killer found at the scene. An arrest wasn't made for more than a year. During the winter of 1990, several convicted felons and members of Salem's drug community implicated an ex-con named Frank Gable in the murder. A grand jury heard testimony and decided Gable was likely the one who was caught rummaging through Frankie's car and killed Frankie to avoid going back to prison. He was arrested in Coos County on April 8, 1990, and has been behind bars since. Long before Gable was convicted in June of 1991, there were conspiracy theories surrounding Michael Frankie's murder. His own brothers don't believe Gable is the killer. Kevin and Patrick Frankie have a long-held belief their brother was murdered because he was cracking down on corruption within the state's prison system and the Department of Corrections. Frank Gable has always maintained he is innocent. In April of this year, 29 years after Gable was arrested and after multiple failed appeals of his conviction, a federal judge ruled evidence that was not introduced in the original trial, specifically a confession from another man, would have probably led the jury to acquit Gable rather than convict him. So the case is still in the appeals process. Frankie's brothers have set up a GoFundMe account to help Gable once he's released from prison. You can find a link on coin.com right now uh, with more information about this. You can also find past stories we've done on this case online right now.